Home is just a place to, I guess, relax, especially after a day of work. I think structure is important, especially when you have a child. Like, they need to know what space is for what because it also helps them in developing habits of, like, cleaning up and packing things away. For ourselves, I think even psychologically it helps. Um, you know, just we associate that area with a certain function. Hi, I'm Aileen. I work in comms at our arts college. Hi, I'm Louis. I work in the civil service. Our family is um, the two of us. We have a five-year-old, um, as well as an orange cat called Rufus. When we first got the keys to this place, um, my mother said that, you know, for your first home, like, don't renovate immediately. You don't know how, what your lifestyles are. You don't know what your habits are, and you don't really know what you want to get out of your place. And I think that's true. And also, I think our lives changed, like we had a child. That's why after 10 years, we understand what we want to get out of this flat now, and it's time to renovate. This is a DBSS flat, a five-room flat, about 120 square meters. The biggest change would be that the, our second uh, bedroom was repurposed into the study, so um, we didn't need that large a space anymore, so we also hacked uh, a bit of the wall off. We dedicated some of the areas we weren't using so well. Just beside the main entrance, for instance, I think uh, we redesignated that into a reading area. When you first enter the house, uh, there's a big shoe storage area. Um, but actually, primarily, we also wanted a lot of storage space here because we wanted to put things like bags, totes, socks, hats, and all the things that our child needs when you step out of the house um, so that we didn't have to run back and forth from his room every time. There's also a little seat where uh, everyone can sit down and put on their shoes. Um, it doubles up also as a place that the child can sit to read sometimes if he doesn't want to sit on the floor. Then after that, it's the book nook area. It's important for children, I think, to be able to see all the books that they have. So all the books are here, including also his toys and his games. Um, and again, the book nook area is also nice because he can kind of spread out all of his stuff without us stepping on it and without it getting in the way. We wanted to find a way to activate this area around this bay window, which wasn't used. I think especially now with a child, like we, we really want to emphasize reading. I think my favorite part of the house is definitely the book nook. I think it's, it's one of the first things you see when you come in and it just feels very homely. Like I think it's a sign of like that a family lives here. On a personal level, I enjoy the living room the most because that's probably where I spend the most time, uh, like I said, relaxing after work. We didn't want to have too many things built in because then it, you lose that flexibility to change things around or to clear things out. So I think that's why we were specifically looking for freestanding furniture. I think especially for the coffee table, we, we like modularity. Um, and actually it becomes like a giant block puzzle for the child as well to rearrange. So I think when we first had our place, we thought we would host, but actually now with everyone has their own children or lives, actually we don't really gather. And that's why we made the decision to shift the dining table out. Just looking at our own habits, when we are by ourselves, we tend to eat on the sofa in front of the TV. <laughs> um, we, we did have a solution. So we have a, a pull out uh, table at the pantry area. And that suffices when it's just ourselves with our, uh, with our son normally hosts for dinner more frequently, so ultimately I think uh, with all that considered, uh, the balcony became a very viable place for a dining table. I think the benefit of having a dry pantry is that it also frees up your kitchen counter space. Things that you use regularly, like your coffee maker, could actually go out to the dry pantry. Uh, and then that leaves a lot more kitchen counter space for food prep. Um, what's nice also is I think, you know, a coffee machine also tends to be the thing that you use more when guests come over. So again, it's handy to actually just have that outside. I realized that even though I liked colour, sometimes you also want a large part of your home, especially the areas where you spend the most time in, to be very soothing and very neutral. So I think the kitchen offered this opportunity for colour because it is a space you use, but it's not a space you spend a lot of time in and it's not a space you relax in either. This sort of blue-green was a recommendation from Michelle, but uh, it was like a soothing colour that we, we both enjoyed. The kitchen didn't really have that many opportunities for big drastic changes because of the way the walls and the piping were. 
So I think what we mainly focused on was just reclaiming counter space. In the new area, I think we use sometimes for larger scale art projects with my son. The idea was also if he wanted to lay out train tracks because he likes to play with trains, he could also do it there because it's just a very large area. For our child's bedroom, we didn't have anything built in. Ultimately, I think the decision was because we wanted to keep things flexible. He's five now, so um, as he grows, I think his preferences and needs will change. The couch is, an, is modeled after a nugget couch. It's like a play couch. So actually, it's also like blocks that he can refashion how he wishes. So we thought that was like a good space where we could sit down and read with him because that's like a big part of our night ritual. For the master bedroom, we had um, cabinetry put in, so there's a wardrobe. Uh, but we also added a new kind of row of drawers that also doubles as a surface to put things, uh, as well as some floating cabinets. Uh. The, the floating drawers were a good way to kind of retain storage space while still feeling like the space was spacious, like you weren't hemmed in by cam cabinetry. It gets a lot of ad hoc use. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> taking out clothes, a, a nice surface to put on. But I think we do try to keep it neat. Uh, so we clear it uh, when we can. Uh, but I mean, functionally, that just allows us to use it as a surface when we do need it. When choosing our bed frame, we didn't want anything that had those spongy or cushioned backrests because the cat, from experience, would actually climb on it and scratch it. So I think that's why we wanted a, wood, a wooden bed frame. Um, and also we needed that backing because we tend to read in bed as well. And then once we put in the bed frame, there wasn't that much space left. So we looked specifically at like Japanese furniture brands because they tended to have more narrow bedside tables. So cats being cats, they have strong opinions about where they are and where they want to be right this instance. So previously, without the cat flat, we were getting up at all sorts of odd hours at the night because the cat either wanted to be let in or let out. One request during renovation was that we have a cat flat put in. Um, it's actually worked pretty well, and he could now freely enter and exit instead of rely on us. For the toilets, originally they had no storage space whatsoever. I knew that I, I put on my makeup in the bathroom actually, and I had a lot of skincare products. So it was very important that there would be storage. For the master bathroom, what I liked about it was that it, it goes quite well, I think, with some of the existing, um, the bay window, the marble that we, we requested to keep. So I think uh, it has all come together quite well. Um, and I think also for the child's bathroom, his toilet is shared with the cats. So again, we needed space for pet care. So like his nail clipper, his toothpaste and toothbrush. We were really quite impressed with the built's proposals, just based on how different they were. The questions it asked aligned with what we were looking to get out of the renovation. The questions asked about our habits, what we like to do for fun and also habits that we wanted to change because how your space is like also changes how you behave in that space. So I think it was the only ID firm that actually asked these questions. Most other IDs mainly asked for aesthetics and mood board without really asking about function. Thank you for watching our video. And we hope you enjoyed the tour of our home. <laughs>